Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to highlight the aggressive Celestial Arcship opener used by Parting, Maxed, and Mana in the recent EWC show match. This opener has taken over the ladder since the recent creep changes. The maps you can easily do it on are Lost Hope, Jagged Maw, Titan's Causeway, and Boneyard. These four maps have the healing camp very close to your base, giving your Arcship easy access to them. For Broken Crown and Isle of Dread, you can still do the opener. It's just slightly harder as the speed camps do quite a lot of damage. You can cheese it with good positioning, just be careful not to lose your arc ship. On Secluded Grove, you can't do this opener. In order to use Sovereign's Watch, you need to be near a collection array. None of the camps are near your starting array, so this opener is not worth doing. This opener is good in all matchups. With the Fax expansion and quick creep camp kill, you are able to very quickly get your economy going and start pumping out Argents. Within two minutes of the game, you can have your natural setup and the first creep camp cleared, setting you up for a powerful two base push or an easy transition into a macro game. Start the match by moving your morph core to your expansion and your arc ship toward the nearest creep camp. At 33 seconds, you should have enough Luminite to build your collection array. Once it's down and your arc ship is in range of the creeps, you can use your first Sovereign's Watch. Note, the collection array does not need to be finished for you to use Sovereign's Watch on your arc ship. The first 100 Luminite you get after killing creeps, you will want to put down a power bank. You will not be able to clear an entire healing camp with one Sovereign's Watch. You will need a second, and the power bank will get you the energy to do that. After that, throw down your creation chamber. You can throw down multiple if you like. What's important is you start pumping out Argents and begin to control the other creep on the map. You can easily transition into Animancers, Vectors, or your standard Argent Deathwall. If you are hit with early game aggression, you should be able to defend by throwing down a turret and with solid Argent production. This opener is very solid and worth learning. Shout out to all the fantastic players at the EWC. I'll have a link to the VOD down below. It's quite enjoyable to see how fast the meta shifts in an early RTS. If you have found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Take care and storm them gates, y'all.